Well, you know what other alcoholic beverage is known to be good for you? Red wine. Well, today we are learning a little about pairing its cousin, a rosé, with the perfect meal. Moore's wine expert has more. Hi, I'm Erin. I'm here today to talk to you about one of my favorite wines. It's super food friendly, sophisticated yet relaxed, and it's totally gained so much popularity over the past few years. I like to think of rosé as the white wine for red wine lovers. It starts off the same way a red wine would be produced. The grapes are thrown into a fermentation barrel, but unlike reds where they're left in contact with their skins for two to three weeks, rosés only maintain contact with those skins for anywhere from a couple hours to a couple days. As you can see, that brief contact is what gives these wines their great color. The first wine I have to share with you is a Gamay Rosé from France. This is a super light in color wine, as you can see. It's a dry rosé with light flavors. Pairs really well with so many different foods. I would pair this one with those Thai dishes. The second is from Spain, and this is a Garnacha Cab Sauv blend. It's got rich strawberry notes, um, a little bit toasty, and can pair well with those barbecue dishes as well. The third I have to share with you is one of my absolute favorites. It's um, what I like to call my EDD, my everyday drinking wine. I like to pair this with um, just an episode of Real Housewives. We've got a couple great wineries here in Oregon pouring rosés as well, although unfortunately they've been so popular this year, a lot of them have sold out for the season already. But I broke a couple out of my personal stash to share with you today. The first is a Sokol Blosser Pinot Noir Rosé. As you can see, it's super light in color. It's got flavors of strawberry, toasty notes, and it's really, really good. The second is Winderly. This is also a Pinot Noir Rosé. They have a beautiful tasting room up in the hills there. It's a super modern building, huge windows overlooking their great vineyard. They actually had that in stock a couple weeks ago, so you may be able to look out and find that. If you're at the store and you're in a doubt of what to possibly purchase, I say go for a French Rosé. They just tend to be dry, light, and just beautiful. You can't go wrong with one of those. If you have any questions for me, feel free to check out my blog, Platings and Pairings. My contact information is there. And cheers. And we have a link to her website on our website, kptv.com slash more GDO. Well, everyone loves the